Hey there, gemstone hunter. Have you ever imagined that you could find diamonds just by watching termites and ants around you? It may sound impossible, but believe me, it's more real than you think. Instead of spending money on expensive equipment or resorting to complicated methods, you can actually use nature to your advantage. These tiny insects have a unique ability to pinpoint areas rich in minerals, like kimberlite, the rock where diamonds are formed. And the best part? All you need to do is learn how to spot the signs they leave behind as they go. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use this simple, accessible and effective technique to locate diamonds without needing any fancy gear. It may sound absurd, but by the end of this video, you'll see how this approach has great potential to lead you to a real hidden treasure in nature. Let's explore this natural secret together. And who knows, it might just change the way you see the world around you. We know that often, the search for wealth seems like something distant and reserved only for experts or those who can invest large amounts. However, the secret to finding diamonds is much closer than you think, without the need for expensive equipment or deep knowledge. What I'm going to teach you is a simple, accessible method based on observing something we all have around us. Termites and ants. These creatures have an incredible ability to identify precious minerals, like kimberlite, where diamonds are formed. By understanding how these creatures work, you'll be able to apply this technique and make the most of your environment with a direct, practical, and totally accessible method. You might be thinking, wait, how can termites and ants help me find diamonds? The answer lies in the natural instinct of these little creatures. They build their mounds in strategic locations, usually near mineral deposits like kimberlite. And that's exactly what I'm going to teach you. How to identify these potential areas in a simple way without needing to be a geology expert. If you've always thought that exploring natural wealth was beyond your reach, now's the time to discover that it might be much simpler than you imagine. The key is learning to observe and use what nature already provides us. This method is not only effective, but also scientifically backed. It's not just a wild idea or a superstition. It's something validated by researchers who found that termites and ants have a direct relationship with the presence of valuable minerals. They don't do this by chance, but by a natural instinct to seek out areas rich in nutrients and minerals. By learning to identify these signs, you'll be one step closer to discovering locations with high potential for diamonds. And the best part is, you don't need expensive tools or advanced technical knowledge. In today's video, I'll guide you through this process with simple and practical explanations that you can apply right away. So, if you're excited about this content, make sure to subscribe to the channel and give us a like so you won't miss any of our videos. The idea of using termites and ants as guides to find diamonds might sound extraordinary, but there's a scientific explanation behind it. These tiny insects don't act by chance. They build their mounds in strategic locations, often on top of kimberlite, the rock where diamonds form. Scientific research has confirmed that these insects have a natural ability to identify areas with high concentrations of minerals. Scientists have found that the areas where termites and ants build their mounds are often rich in minerals, indicating the presence of kimberlite, the diamond-bearing rock. This isn't about luck, but an instinct that anyone can take advantage of. In the past, Treasure hunters noticed the connection between termite mounds and the presence of minerals. In the Kalahari Desert, for example, people searching for treasure began observing termite mounds and finding kimberlite beneath them. This behavior has been documented by scientists, and it's been proven that termites build their mounds in regions near mineral deposits, including the famous kimberlite fields that are rich in diamonds. In other words, termites' behavior is not just a coincidence. 
but a clear indication of areas with high mineral potential. Additionally, in other parts of the world, like Australia, research has also shown that ants are capable of locating areas with kimberlite. These findings weren't made intuitively, but through careful studies of the insect's behavior and their relationship with the soil they live in. And from this, science has validated the technique of observing these mounds as a way to locate valuable mineral deposits. Now, the question is, why not take advantage of this knowledge to find diamonds? Let's see how you can apply this practically in the next step. But before we continue, tell me in the comments, did you know that these insects could lead you to find great treasures? Now that you understand the scientific basis behind this technique, let's get into the practical part where you can really apply this knowledge to start your diamond hunt. The first step is simple. Begin by observing termite or ant mounds around you. These insects build their mounds in strategic locations, and often these locations are near mineral deposits. The trick is to focus on mounds that are in more open areas with denser soil. This is because in regions with kimberlite, the soil tends to be more mineralized creating the perfect environment for these insects. Whenever you find one of these mounds, you'll be on the right track. The next step is to collect a soil sample from around the mound. Use a small shovel or a simple tool to take a sample of the soil surrounding the termite or ant mound. The goal is to analyze the composition of this soil. The denser and more mineralized the soil, the higher the chances you're near kimberlite deposits and possibly diamonds. It may seem simple, but this sample collection technique has proven to be very effective in identifying areas with high potential for diamond mining. It's something anyone can do without the need for complex or advanced equipment. After collecting the sample, you can have it analyzed. If you have access to simple soil testing tools, like a pH and mineralization kit, you can gather important information about the sample's composition. However, if you don't have those tools, a good tip is to observe the visual characteristics of the soil. If it's darker in color or has a rougher texture, it could be an indicator of valuable minerals. If you can't find specialized tools, you can also research the most common types of soil in your area, which will help you better understand the samples you collect. The idea here is to apply the concept in a practical and straightforward way so you can start exploring right away. So Gemstone Hunter, what do you think of this valuable knowledge I'm sharing with you? Let me know in the comments. What makes this technique even more interesting is that it has been successfully applied in various parts of the world. In the Kalahari Desert, Africa, Treasure hunters began using termite mounds as indicators of mineral deposits. They noticed that by following these mounds, they found areas with kimberlite, the rock where diamonds are formed. This discovery wasn't an isolated event. On the contrary, it was confirmed by studies and observations from scientists who tracked this practice. These treasure hunters didn't use expensive equipment, but rather instinct and observation proving that with the right knowledge, anyone can locate valuable resources. In Australia, a similar study was conducted, this time with ants. Scientists found that these small insects are also capable of identifying mineral-rich areas. In regions known to have kimberlite deposits, researchers observed that ants built their nests and mounds in strategic locations near these mineral sources. Scientists were able to accurately map diamond mining areas using this same technique. This confirms that by observing the behavior of insects like termites and ants, it's possible to identify places with great potential for finding diamonds. And these examples don't stop there. In several other parts of the world, including South Africa and Brazil, researchers continue to use this simple and effective method to locate precious minerals. What once seemed like a simple natural instinct of insects is now recognized as a valuable practice 
for mineral exploration. This technique, validated by studies and successfully applied by treasure hunters and scientists, could be the key for anyone looking to explore natural wealth using a simple method that's within everyone's reach. Now that you've seen concrete examples of results, you can start applying this technique and, who knows, discover the next big treasure. If this content is helping you, don't forget to give the video a like. Now that you've learned how to observe the signs left by termites and ants, and how to apply this technique in a simple and effective way, there's so much more to explore. In the next video, I'm going to teach you how to analyze the soil samples you collect. Knowing how to identify minerals and understanding the composition of the soil is a crucial step to ensure you're really near kimberlite deposits and, consequently, diamonds. We'll dive deeper into this analysis to help you maximize the potential of your discoveries and refine your technique even further. In addition, I'll share with you advanced methods on how you can expand this search to different types of soil and regions. Imagine being able to map an entire area and identify the highest potential spots for diamonds just by using insect behavior and a simple soil analysis. I know that by following the next steps, you'll be able to become a true expert in the art of exploring nature for treasures. And for that, we'll need more tips and insights that will take you even further on this journey. So stay tuned, because with every video, we'll add more layers of knowledge and strategies that will transform the way you explore the world around you. Soon, you won't just be observing termites and ants. You'll be able to analyze and interpret all the signs nature has to offer. Don't miss the next content, where you'll learn all about how to further enhance your search for diamonds and other precious minerals. Now I've got something special for you. I've created an educational material that will teach you everything about gemstones, and you'll become an expert on the subject. The link is in the video description. Now that you've learned how to observe the signs left by termites and ants, and how to apply this technique in a simple and effective way, there's so much more to explore. In the next video, I'm going to teach you how to analyze the soil samples you collect. Knowing how to identify minerals and understanding the composition of the soil is a crucial step to ensure you're really near kimberlite deposits and, consequently, diamonds. We'll dive deeper into this analysis to help you maximize the potential of your discoveries and refine your technique even further. In addition, I'll share with you advanced methods on how you can expand this search to different types of soil and regions. Imagine being able to map an entire area and identify the highest potential spots for diamonds just by using insect behavior and a simple soil analysis. I know that by following the next steps, you'll be able to become a true expert in the art of exploring nature for treasures. And for that, we'll need more tips and insights that will take you even further on this journey. So stay tuned, because with every video, we'll add more layers of knowledge and strategies that will transform the way you explore the world around you. Soon, you won't just be observing termites and ants. You'll be able to analyze and interpret all the signs nature has to offer. Don't miss the next content, where you'll learn all about how to further enhance your search for diamonds and other precious minerals. Now I've got something special for you. I've created an educational material that will teach you everything about gemstones, and you'll become an expert on the subject. The link is in the video description. Now that you have all the tools you need to start your diamond hunt, it's time to put that knowledge into action. Observing termites and ants, collecting soil samples, and analyzing nature's signs are simple but powerful steps that can lead you to unexpected and valuable locations. Don't wait any longer. Start exploring now and see how nature can reveal treasures you never imagined were so close. Every step you take now brings you closer to a new treasure 
whether it's in the paw, form of knowledge or precious minerals. Remember, in the next video, we'll dive even deeper into the process of analyzing soil samples and how to apply these techniques efficiently to get the best results. What you've learned so far is just the beginning of this journey, and soon you'll have the knowledge you need to become a true natural treasure hunter. Stay tuned, because we're just getting started exploring all the secrets nature has to offer. Now, it's time to take action. Don't let this opportunity slip by. Every moment counts, and by applying what you've learned here, you might be just one step away from making a discovery that will change your life. Let's go on this journey together, and in the next video, we'll continue teaching you how to identify the best areas to explore. Stay alert. The riches might be closer than you think. See you soon, Gemstone Hunter.